Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are good. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Allied School Salman Farsi campus. Let's start our lesson. Today we will revise unit 4 Hazrat Asma and unit 5 the daffodils. Students unit 3 is not included in our syllabus. Okay. Let's take start from Hazrat Asma and we will revise the exercise at page 39 cataphoric reference and anaphoric reference an expression that refers to a later expression in the discourse is called a cataphoric reference wo bayan beta jo ibarat mein baad wale bayan ka hawala de use cataphoric reference kehte hain wo reference jo kisi bhi टेक्स्ट में बाद वाले बयान का हवाला दे उसे कैटाफोरिक रेफरेंस कहते हैं ओके एग्जांपल द रसूल एंड हिज कंपेनियन हजरत अबू बकर माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम मक्का टू मदीना इन द ईयर 622 एडी हियर हिज कंपेनियन इज कैटाफोरिक रेफरेंस एनाफोरिक रेफरेंस an expression that refers to an earlier expression in the discourse is called an anaphoric reference. कोई भी इजहार, कोई भी expression जो आवाज में आए, शुरू में आए, उसे हम anaphoric expression कहते हैं, ठीक है? For example, Hazrat Asma was amongst the early few who accepted Islam. She was the daughter of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. Okay, here has other smiles, anaphoric reference. Now, come to the exercise. Tell whether the references given in these sentences are anaphoric or cataphoric. Okay, sentence number one. Abu Jahl, the chief of disbelievers, in a fit of fury, headed towards Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq's home. He began to knock at the door violently. Okay, here Abu Jahl is anaphoric reference and Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq is cataphoric reference. Number two, her grandfather Abu Kahafa was a disbeliever at that time. Here, her grandfather is anaphoric reference and Abu Kahafa is cataphoric reference. Number three. When Aslam was playing cricket, he hurt his hand. Here, Aslam is anaphoric reference and he is cataphoric reference. Number four. Before she finished the work, Neelam had checked the mistakes once again. Here, she is anaphoric and Neelam is cataphoric. Number five, Anis threw the stone. He broke the window. Here, Vita, Anis is anaphoric reference and he is cataphoric reference. Number six, when she entered the room, Zeba was surprised to see so many guests. Here, she is anaphoric reference and Zeba is cataphoric reference. Number seven, the city of gardens, Lahore, is also famous for its historical places. City is anaphoric reference and Lahore is cataphoric reference. Okay, is that clear? Come to the next exercise. It's a vocabulary exercise. At page 40, choose the correct meaning of the underlined words. Number one, it was so delicate a situation. Options are difficult, easy, sensitive, fragile. The correct option is sensitive. Number two, Abu Jahl began to knock at the door violently. Options are politely, slowly, forcefully, angrily. And the correct option is forcefully. Number three. She simply posed a counter question that infuriated Abu Jahl. 
options are pleased helped enriched annoyingly and the correct option is enriched okay number 4 she remained steadfast and did not reveal the secret option is patient firm and resolute ready to face prepared for the worst and the correct option is steadfast sorry firm and resolute columbi consult a dictionary to find the meanings of the following words phrases and use them in sentences here are some words you will find out their meanings yourself and make sentences okay now come to grammar portion abstract noun abstract noun is name of a quality action or state abstract noun are formed from adjectives verbs and common nouns for example she faced every calamity of the life with patience and valor here patience and valor are abstract noun okay part b from abstract nouns from the following form ex- abstract nouns from the following adjectives and verb and use these nouns in sentences of your own okay the nouns are courageous empty difficult generous resolute and suffer an abstract noun for these are for courageous abstract noun is courage empty empty ness difficult difficulty generous generosity resolute resolution suffer suffering okay students you will make sentences yourself c part put articles where required here are 10 sentences number 1 trees are grown on either side of canal here we put article before canal trees are grown on either sides of the canal number 2 her courage and patience are exemplary will not use any article here in this sentence number 3 kindness and tolerance are noble deeds okay no article will be used here number 4 higher you go cooler it is and we'll use the article da here da higher you go the cooler it is number 5 he is tallest boy in his class okay we will put the before the superlative degree tallest he is the tallest boy in the class number 6 dog is faithful animal here we we are generalizing dog so we'll put the here the dog is faithful animal number 7 indus is larger largest river in pakistan here before indus we'll put the the indus is the largest river in pakistan number 8 mount everest is the highest peak in the world okay we'll put the before highest alize is the most intelligent girl in the school okay before most we'll put the number 10 where are the books which i bought a week ago positions of time preposition of times are in at and on okay we'll use in for months years seasons part of the day and duration for example in june in september in 2011 in 1999 in winter in summer in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in a second in two weeks okay and we'll use at with part of the day for example at night noon or midnight 
time of day for example at 8 o'clock at midnight at 2 o'clock etc with celebrations for example at eat or with fixed phrases for example at the same time on on is used with days of week like on sunday on friday with date on the 20th of august with special holidays on the iqbal day on my birthday and the special part of a day on the morning of october the 11th okay part e fill in the blanks with suitable prepositions given below number 1 the rasul migrated dash makkah to medina in 622 ad options are between from after into the correct option is from number 2 abu jahl dash a fit of fury headed towards hazrat abu bakr siddiq's home options are with after in into the correct option is in number 3 he began knocking dash the door violently options are at on into about and the correct option is at number 4 at this she instantly ran dash a corner of the home options are into through to towards correct option is to number 5 she has resolute faith dash allah almighty options are of in at to the correct option is in she has resolute faith in allah almighty number 6 she gave dash all the money to the poor and the needy options are out through in away the correct option is away number 7 her wife her life would always be a beacon dash light for all of us options are in off with into the correct option is off part f fill the blanks with prepositions of time number 1 ali is arriving on january 26 at 2 o'clock saqib is leaving on friday at noon ashar worked for his law firm in 1995 i met shaheen at 9 am the doctor will see alize in the evening sobia has her birthday on september 11th he will have vacation in summer okay parji punctuate the following using capital letters commas and full stops and students you know very well where do we use capital letters and commas and full stop you will do it yourself okay now let's move on to the next chapter daffodils you have done the summary and question answer of this chapter before okay learn the summary by heart uh, let's start the exercise page 54 figure of speech simile simile is a figure of speech in which like or as is used to make a comparison between two ideas that are basically this similar for example her eyes twinkled like stars she was as busy as a bee metaphor if we write a comparison between two things and omit the word like then we are using a metaphor okay for example he proved a lion in the fight his heart is red red rose now personification it is a figure figurative language te technique where an object or idea is given human characteristics or qualities for example the candle flame danced in the dark the sunflower nodded in the wind hair danced and nodded is 
examples are personification imagery imagery is the construction of detail used to create mental images in the mind of the reader through the visual senses as well as the senses of touch smell taste and sound okay examples of imagery visual huge trees in the thick and dark forest auditory the rustling of leaves smell scent of apples taste sweet and juicy oranges touch rugged and rough path okay let's move on to part c here is a list of few similes metaphors and person c here is a list of few similes metaphors and personification can you identify them write s for simile m for metaphor and p for personification okay time is money it is a metaphor as busy as b it is a simile the wind whispered the rumors of the forest it is personification as gentle as a lamb it is a simile the sorry engine wheezed its la death cough it is a personification the heart of lion is a metaphor the apple of my eye is a metaphor as cunning as a fox is simile brown grass was begging for water is a personification as wise as an owl is a simile blanket of snow is metaphor as black as a crow is simile okay now come to vocabulary use thesaurus to find three more synonyms of the following words okay words are saw glance gaze shine twinkle sparkle student you will do it yourself let's move on to connotation connotation means the attitude and feeling associated with a word as opposed to its literal meaning okay for example solitude and lonely solitude is a positive connotation and lonely is a negative connotation okay specify positive and negative connotation of each of the following number 1 gaze and stare gaze is positive connotation and stare is negative connotation shine and glare shine is positive connotation and glare is negative connotation hold and collect hold is negative connotation and collect is positive connotation okay now come to the grammar collective noun a singular noun such as committee or team that refers to a group or people animal or things is called collective noun for example crowd in this poem refer to a collection or a large number of daffodils okay we now write the collective nouns of the following a collection of sheep a collection of singers a collection of cattle collection of soldiers it's very easy students you will do it yourself part c use the following prepositions in sentences of your own behind beside next to under over along across you will do this and uh, this question yourself बिहाइंड मीन्स पीछे बिसाइड का मतलब साथ होता है नेक्स्ट टू का मतलब भी साथ होता है अंडर का मतलब नीचे ओवर का मतलब ऊपर अलॉन्ग साथ अक्रॉस का मतलब होता है पार ओके नाउ मेक सेंटेंसेस ऑफ योर ओन नाउ कंजंक्शंस कंजंक्शंस जॉइन वर्ड्स एंड सेंटेंसेस देयर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ कंजंक्शंस कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन एंड सब कंजंक्शंस coordinating con conjunctions join sentences of equal rank 
and the examples of coordinating conjunctions are but or not either also however only so and hence subordinating uh, conjunctions join sentences of which is dependent on the other okay and the examples of subordinating conjunctions are because that while unless as when since if though okay party fill in the blanks with appropriate conjunctions number 1 he ran fast dash he missed the train here we will put but he ran fast but he missed the train number 2 wait until i return number 3 work hard lest you should fail l e s t lest number 4 i did not come because you did not invite me number 5 you will get a prize if you deserve it okay let's move on use of present and past participle participle students is a verb from verb form used as an adjective to modify nouns and pronouns present participles all the present participles and in ing for example the laughing lady the falling temperature the shining star etc past participle and the past participle of all regular verbs ends in ed for example he tired the tired dancer the injured player the cracked vase however irregular verbs have various past participle ending such as thrown ridden built and gone now underline the participles in the following sentences number 1 is he was so shocked due to the accident that he could not speak here shocked is participle and this is past participle number 2 the galloping horse scared the child here galloping and scared are participles and galloping is present participle and scared no only galloping is participle this is present participle number 3 i don't want that burnt toast here burnt is participle this is past participle don't be frightened that dog doesn't bite frightened is past participle the lorry was carrying stolen goods here stolen is participle and this is part past participle everybody was excited preparing things for the trip excited is participle this is past participle if the children are bored take them to the park here bored is participle this is past participle okay that is the end of your lecture i hope you have, you have understood it if there is some problem you can ask me thank you very much